welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've come to Brunswick Bay. I'm really excited to get down on the beach. You can see the tide's well out. I've got a few hours just to have a search around. If you walk over that way, it'll take you to Port Mulgrave. But today I'm going to be walking around this way and make my way around here somewhere. See if I can pick any interesting bits just out of the rocks. Lovely to see a nice empty beach. So today I'm going to have a quick look just amongst all the seaweed and then I'll make my way round the headland. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please hit that subscribe button so you can see my future fossil hunts and see more of my fossil collection. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Thanks. It's pretty cold this morning. I can already see what looks like the edge of an ammonite here. There's been absolutely amazing fossils that have been found at Runswick. However, I can say it's not by me. I've been probably about seven times and in them seven times, I've only found the odd ammonite. However, it's one of those places where when you look seen, you'll get something really good. There's a fair bit of seaweed on the beach. You can see it stretches all the way over there. The first fossil of the day, right next to this footprint. Very worn. It's a lovely water-worn ammonite. If this was given a polish, it'd show up really nice because you can see the calcite in the chambers around here. I'm going to move a little bit closer towards the cliffs now, obviously a little bit closer but not too close that I'm at risk of cliff falls. You can see there's plenty of birds around as well. Here's a fossil. It's a block of shells. Not really something that interests me, but some people may find it interesting. You can find loads of these around the Robin Hood's Bay area. Maybe that's where it's come from. Check out that guys, it's a sea urchin. This looks quite interesting. A little worn out specimen there and there seems to be something there. Maybe it's a little bivalve. It's a iron pyrite nodule. I can't say I've ever actually had a look around this a little bit. There's a lot of sand so there's probably not much chance of a good fossil find but I guess it's always worth just to try different areas as well. I've also put in my bag a really cool polished ichthyosaur bone pebble which I brought from home. I'll show you that towards the end of the video. So definitely make sure you stick around to the end to see that find. That landslide over there is looking extremely small now. It used to be a lot bigger last time I came. However, that was a good few months ago now. Starting to see some shale preserved ammonites, which obviously must have washed from the cliffs somewhere over there where I've just shown you. These look really cool when they're really fresh out. You can get really big plates full of ammonites. The only trouble is sometimes they end up cracking when you've taken them home and they start drying out. So now I'm going to have a look through all these really big slabs of shale and make my way over that way. There's a piece of fossilised wood in this one. Really far gone, not worth collecting. Here we go guys, this looks like a cannonball. Will it be whole or will someone have already split it? Only one way to find out. Oh it looks like a good one. Definitely looks like a good one. I'm going to give that a tap right now. Usually the duds, but occasionally you get an absolutely perfect ammonite, usually Elegantiserus. It's split open, 
but it looks like it's gone the wrong way unfortunately but luckily it was empty anyway yep Here's another one buried in the sand. Looks quite good. I'm going to get it out with my chisel because it's wedged quite far in. All right, it's already been opened. Look at that for a bellamite, that's lovely. It seems to have bent as the slab has gone in as well, so it's curled. Nice curved one. Here we go, these are the slabs what we're talking about. The ones which are fresh out, you can see there's a layer which runs through there, so this will be absolutely full of ammonites. And on the underside, there you go. And that's a really fresh one. Look how detailed the little ammonites are really nice here we go nice little shelly block by the look of it that's got potential worth a tap with a hammer for sure in fact look at that there's one poking out just there so there's definitely ammonites inside that so hopefully it splits off really nice If you ever come fossil hunting it's definitely worth getting a book and learning exactly what to look for because you've got to definitely get your eye in unless you're really lucky and there's one just washed up on the beach look at these beauties obviously these ones are a bit easier to find but you also can't really extract them look at the size of that one It'd be nice if there was a really big fish inside that wouldn't it it's the right shape but <laughs> I've got no chance of opening that one. Wow. There was meant to be a dead whale washed up around here. Well, there was a good few months ago. Here you go, guys. A big old beauty in there. Or there was. Just on the edge. Looks like someone's already given it a tap. That was a big abonite, either a Lytoceros or a Phyloceros. Again, preserved in shale, but it would have been huge. And here is an Eleganticeros, which is slowly being exposed by the tide. Really nice one. In fact, is that a Harposeros? I don't know. This is a really odd shaped nodule. Very weird. Look at that big boy, right near my foot. And it even has an ammonite just preserved on top. Wow, that's hefty. Oh, it's split open. That split open a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> oh, it's empty. Can anyone tell me what the hell that is? Very weird. Is it a brush or something? Nah, can't be a brush. Looks like a weird fish. <laughs> if anyone knows what that is, I'd love to know in the comments. I've never seen it like that before. Anyway, here's one what someone's already split open. It looks like it even had a nice little laminate inside, but they've just took the edge off, unfortunately. This is quite an interesting nodule. If you look here, there's a layer running around of little black pieces. Maybe this is like little bits of fish, just disarticulated on the inside. Interest. I've spotted a cannonball inside one of the shale slabs, so I'm going to extract it. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's not loose yet.
Can't see anything on the outside of it. Unfortunately, it's broken the wrong way. But it was empty. There was another layer of little fishy, scaly bits underneath. But other than that, no ammonites. Obviously, with these nodules, unless there's a little edge of the ammonite poking out, you've got no idea if there's anything inside. So to save taking it off the beach and it being empty when you open it at home, it's always worth just giving them a tap on the beach. There's plenty of material to look through at the moment anyway. Obviously all this is fairly fresh. Still got the red staining. I'm guessing that's from the iron in the cliffs. Not worth climbing amongst all that though. So I'm going to make my way in this little headland here see what's around there how about this for a new water bottle weighs more than everything else i've got in my bag including the fossils here you go guys there's one in here an ammonite so i already had a little bit of damage there but hopefully it's only a small one and it'll split open pretty nice fair bit more seaweed around I've just come across this other rockfall here. Bit of material that's come down. I'm guessing it's been down for a fair bit, but the sea is always washing new bits out until it's obviously all gone. Could this be a nodule? Yes. And it looks like there's an ammonite inside. Finally. Just there on the edge. about the best thing I found all day probably hopefully it splits well is this a cannonball looks like it could oh, it's already split in half you can see it's coming gloomy as anything so it's gonna absolutely belt it down any time now here we go guys can you spot the ammonite it's in a nodule Very nice. That would have been nice at some point. Far gone. Very far gone. Right then guys, I've had enough for today. So I'm going to make my way back. But first of all, I'm going to open the few nodules that I picked up on my trip today. And hopefully there'll be a few nice splits. See you in a bit. Here are the nodules that I'm going to split open today. Let's see if there's any luck. Right then, I'll give this one a go. Hopefully this splits really nice. That looks good. That looks really good. I'm going to open it on camera for you so you can see. Where are we? I right, should pop the top off. So hopefully this bit will come off as well. Very nice, beautiful. So now it's time for the one which I'm really excited about. If you remember, there's something poking out here and you can see it goes right round here. So I'm hoping this will be a really nice one. That's looking very nice. I'm excited for this one. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Absolute corker. That's the best one of these I've ever found. Absolute belter. Brilliant. I'm well chuffed with that. So now, as promised, I'm going to show you that lovely ichthyosaur bone pebble that I found around the kettle nest area, which is just around the bend over there. When I originally found this little pebble, I could tell it was a bone pebble, but it was really, really scratched and very sea worn. So I've had it polished and it brings out the detail of the bone. Absolutely superb. So here it is, guys. So there's a few odd little bits of bone at the bottom where my thumb is. And there's a few ribs and other ammonite bits washed up here. 
and on the top you can see a cross section of a lovely hourglass ichthyosaur vert which is basically a vert which has been broken in half and on the top there's more verts and you can see the bone detail in it is absolutely fabulous it looks a lot better in the sunlight however because it's quite gloomy maybe you can't make it out as well this is definitely one of my favorite polished bone pebbles right then guys i'm just walking back and i've just picked up this absolute beauty you can see another keel poking out here so i'm going to give it a tap and we'll see how it splits These particular ammonites are really fun to open. Best place to hit it is probably here because it's already damaged. In fact, having said that, that splits perfectly. There's just the middle here to clean out. Very happy. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my YouTube channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can see more of my fossil hunting videos and you can also see more of my fossil collection. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Thanks.